Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in, in this video, I'm going to show you uh, one more, a mini project, which is a mini project called Library Management System. And this project is completely based on .NET Framework, a backend language is c -sharp. And I have used Microsoft SQL Server, all right? And the idea which we have used to build this project is Visual Studio community all right so i'll show you how uh, the, uh, the demonstration of this project and along with that the demonstration you can able to understand what is project all about it's all about library management system and pretty simple all right so uh, when you start or when you try to access this system for the first time you'll be able to see this kind of page or this kind of window over here and you'll get of four options, a four menu option in the menu bar over here. And in, in that first one is the file. So when you click on file, you'll get these options, these five options. First one is to add books to the system or add books to the library, issue book, issue book to the someone, I mean any student or any any person, or uh, if that person is returning that book, return book option and book report. So how much book has been issued, that report will be displayed over here. So we'll go on one by one over here. All right, and the last one is exit already. I mean, to exit from this page, all right? So first of all, I'll go to the first option, which is add books, all right? I will add a new book over here, okay? So we need to give, uh, here I can, I can able to see what are the different books over here. And in this field, you can able to add the books. So as of now, what I'll do is I'll just add a book. Uh, I'll give a book ID. Uh, most of the all book ID will be different, which will be unique. All right. So uh, I'll give as a one, two, three, up uh, or one, two, double, three. A uh, book name will give as a learning uh, day. Okay. A learning day. A publisher, uh, a random person. Uh, let me give as John and uh, author or like. Hmm, Nick and publisher year could be like 2015 and edition like two, three, four, like this. So I'll give us two and price probably like 300. All right. So add book. So you can get a pop over here. The book has been added successfully and you can OK. And if you need to update that book, suppose uh, the price is changed. So just select this. Okay, so like this, just change the price over here. So now it's in 300, we'll change it to 500 and click on update. Okay, so that's it. So here you can see the cost of the book is 500 now. So if, uh, and everything, suppose if you have type over here, you can clear it in a clear button. So this is what add books option. So I'll go for exit now and we'll choose a second option to issue a book, all right? So here, here you can able to view some of the options like what are the different books available over here we'll just click on learning day and i'll get all the details of that book which edition which price everything and issue id will be something like this name or like who are the customer is has been added to the system already we choose that customer and i'll show that option also how to add a customer to the system so i'll just take a simple name over here okay and uh, issue date could be uh, anything. I'll just put randomly over here. All right. So now, uh, yeah, due date is different. So I need to extend the due date. That's it. And issue details. The book has been issued now. And yes, I will go on exit. And here you'll go to the return book option, the return ID, and the book name is learning day. And book card is this one and description if suppose any fine or any damage is there you can add over here add any descriptions over here like this and who are the name i mean the customer you can add the customer over here and the return of date uh, you can select the return of date over here could be like something like this and yes return the book has been returned to the system all right so exit and last one book report you can able to view all the book report over here like this so the learning day report like this. All right. So just exit and I'll go to the customer over here. Suppose 
if a customer is already existed or has been added to the system is they can able to view the customer report over here who the customer is i will go back and uh, we we are we are going to add a new customer now so a new customer so uh, we we don't have a customer name nick over here i'll just add a customer name or i'll add a new customer to the system and the customer name will be mike and uh, address of india and contact number some kind of number just uh, deposit fee like 100 and uh, activation date and valid till from which year to which year if it is 23 go for 23 and sub any month and a date and add customer to the system so nike has been added to the system over here and i'll go these are some of the update delete options so suppose if you need to modify you can go for the update option if i need to delete that customer from the system you can delete that customer and exit so and here you'll, i'll go for view so here you can see all the rented or all, all the rented books which were issued over here that would be displayed over here all right okay who was the customer all right yeah that's about it and exit so this is all about our library management system which is completely based on dotnet framework so to download this product i mean download this project just check the link in the description all right see you guys take care and bye bye